But I want to announce today that Ledger is partnering, partnering with the Sandbox. Incredible new invention of digital assets, this incredible new freedom of self-custody, and that we have the security that goes with it. The Sandbox. You've probably heard something about it in the past year, but what does it really mean? Welcome to Floris Online, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining what the Sandbox is and how it works. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Thanks for clicking on the video. Stay till the end as we explore the Sandbox and the new partnership with the Ledger. The Sandbox is a decentralized virtual gaming world that runs on the Ethereum network. The Sandbox is basically a game in which players purchase digital parcels of land, called land, and then build experiences on top of them to share with other players. In this way, the Sandbox, like Decentraland, is one model of a blockchain-based metaverse. NFTs are redefining the way that we acquire art, build communities, make money, and play games. Many NFT-based initiatives are morphing into full-fledged metaverses with the Sandbox at the forefront of this. The Sandbox was created by PixOwl co-founders Arthur Madrid and Sebastian Borget. It differs from previous crypto metaverse initiatives in that its user-generated content ecosystem enables adding to the metaverse an easy and natural activity for participants with no coding experience. Did you know that Ledger has partnered with Sandbox to promote crypto education in the metaverse? The Sandbox has partnered with Ledger, a France-based hardware crypto wallet business, to help increase crypto awareness and education amongst metaverse gamers. The partnership was announced by Ledger during the non-fungible conference, which is presently taking place in Lisbon, Portugal. Education about cryptocurrencies and security, according to Ian Rogers, Ledger's chief experience officer, is critical. According to reports, Sandbox has over 500,000 users as of November 2021, and the platform has made 93 million in revenue. Rogers thanked Sebastian Borget, co-founder and chief operations officer of the Sandbox, for joining the initiative while speaking at the non-fungible conference. Rogers said, the reality is that educated people become Ledger customers, and so we just want to make sure that all people have all the education they need to be safe and properly manage this incredible right and freedom that they have of self-custody. In a press release, Ledger Chief Experience Officer Ian Rogers said, Anyone using Web3 should understand how to secure their assets from hackers and scammers. This partnership with The Sandbox enables Ledger to launch unique metaverse initiatives for education, security, and support. Ledger, a well-known hardware wallet maker, is hoping to employ metaverse technology to help spread Bitcoin awareness and education. The wallet company has partnered with The Sandbox to promote crypto education and security in its virtual environment. The Sandbox will give Ledger 36 territories, allowing it to build an education and security center in its metaverse. The Sandbox is making room in its metaverse for Ledger, allowing the company to educate members of its community about crypto security so that they can secure their investments. The French firm has been aggressively expanding its operations beyond traditional cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and now accepts NFTs. Ledger introduced a limited version of the Ledger Nano S Plus, a brand new hardware wallet that is designed to enable NFTs in early March. Both Ledger and The Sandbox think that the greatest way to learn is through direct experience. As a result, Ledger will rely on The Sandbox's core value proposition. Digital ownership in games, in particular, can be used to generate instructional, gamified experiences. Players will be rewarded with one-of-a-kind artifacts as a result of those experiences, which were designed in conjunction with Swipe Back while also infusing utility into the incentives in order to provide winners with exclusive access to activities. Of late, institutions have been jumping on the metaverse bandwagon owing to increased user demand for the technology. Shiba Inu, the popular meme token, just revealed more information about its impending metaverse. Shiba Inu's metaverse will be known as SHIB, the metaverse. According to FX Empire, it is supposed to be unlike any other metaverse in space. In early March, the Sandbox announced a collaboration with the NFT Profile Photo Initiative, World of Women. The Metaverse Initiative would contribute $25 million in grant monies to establish the WOW Foundation as a part of the partnership. Ledger released a limited version of the Ledger Nano S Plus, a fresh new hardware wallet that supports NFTs by design in early March. This increase in the number of companies entering the Metaverse demonstrates the burgeoning interest in the field. The Ledger Nano S Plus is a hardware wallet that allows you to safely store Bitcoin, including non-fungible tokens offline. 
It's a long-awaited update to the brand's crypto wallet for beginners, intended at those who wish to keep track of their digital assets on their own. For more clarity, there are two types of wallets, hot and cold wallets. Hot wallets are internet-connected wallets that may be accessed over the internet or on your smartphone. Cold wallets are physical devices that can store cryptocurrency safely offline and cannot be accessed through the internet. Due to self-custody, cold wallets give you complete control over your cryptocurrency. In contrast to a wallet on an exchange, where the company retains your keys, you hold the keys to the wallet and manage the access to it. The predecessor to the Ledger Nano S Plus, the Nano S, casts a long shadow. It was a bestseller among hardware wallets when it was released in 2016, with the business claiming to have sold over 4.5 million units. However, the majority of today's famous cryptocurrencies did not exist when the Nano S was released, and few people were interested in NFTs at the time. Now, fast forward to today. The new Nano S Plus appears to have caught up with the times. As cryptocurrency has become more widespread, and the industry has expanded to offer new wallets for users of all experience levels, from total beginners to institutional investors. The hardware wallet is simple to set up and only takes about 30 minutes. The directions for each stage in the process are quite easy to understand, and the entire procedure runs well. To begin, go to Ledger's website or mobile app store and download and install the company's app, Ledger Live. It is available in both a desktop and mobile version. After you've installed the software, use the included cable to connect the thumb drive to your computer. The Ledger features a Type-C port and the cord has a conventional USB plug on the other end. As a small note, connecting to a smartphone would require a USB to a Type-C converter. You'll want to get a pen in a safe place to write down some crucial information at this point. The next step is to set the pin code, which is four to eight digits long. It works the same way that a phone's unlock code does. This is the first thing you'll need to write down on paper because you'll need it to turn on the hardware wallet and validate every transaction. Do not snap a picture of it or make any kind of digital copy of it. This opens the door for hackers to steal your cryptocurrency, provided they find it and gain access to your physical ledger device. The secret recovery phrase follows. A seed phrase is a collection of 24 randomly generated words. This is the second thing that you will need to write down and you'll want to make sure that you get all 24 words correct. The app will prompt you to confirm the seed phrase by selecting the proper option from a list of four options. Repeat for the last 24 words. Because the seed phrase is your final resort if something goes wrong with the device, it's critical to keep this information safe and secure. If your hardware ledger is lost or damaged, you can get your money back by buying a new ledger device and importing your account using the 24 seed phrases. However, if you lose the seed phrases, your funds will be lost forever. When everything is in place, the software does a security check on the hardware to see whether it has been compromised. This is more of a concern with used hardware wallets, which is generally not a good idea. Tell me what you think about this new development in the comments section. Also, if you want to be kept up to date on various NFT or crypto news and analysis, then click on the notification bell to be alerted when I release my next video. While you're here, do check out our video on top five crypto and NFT games to play to earn in 2022. Thanks for taking the time to watch and see you in the next video.